when media blasting, you actually introduce heat into, the, into whatever you're blasting. It's the abrasion process that causes friction. This can be a problem with working with sheet metal. Sheet metal will actually warp as too much heat is introduced into it. So the way to get around that is to hold your blasting gun at an angle. Usually, you know, not too tight of an angle, otherwise the media will just skip across the surface. But about, you know, somewhere between a 30 and 40 degree angle, you're gonna come at it and then make fast sweeps. You'll just be taking a little off each time and then change the direction and go at it in fast sweeps like that. That way you're not forcing a lot of heat into one area. You're evening it out and then you're also uh, attacking those rust pots and the, uh, some of the rusted areas at different angles so it'll actually clean them all out. With that, let's go take this piece of the cabinet and we'll show you how it's done. Okay, we begin the process by just kind of lightly going over it. As you can see, it's not as fast as if you just directed the spray right on it. But what we don't want to end up with is a piece of warped metal that's going to take 10 times longer to straighten out and apply body filler and everything else to try to get it back to the original shape. And it takes a little time, but uh, as I tell everybody, it's a hobby, not a race. and applying quick strokes, not like concentrating heat in any one area for too long. Again, change the angle, especially when you're in heavy pitted areas like this we have here. You just gradually keep working it. Okay, we'll take that out of the cabinet, see what that looks like. As you can see, it cleaned up the surface very nicely. It's, uh, it takes a little longer to actually clean rust and paint off of sheet metal without warping it, 
but it's best, it's time well spent. And uh, having had to straighten out panels that guys have blasted and warped up all the heck, it, uh, it really pays to take the time, come at it at an angle, and clean it up real well. This is coming along nice. Let's get it uh, back in the cabinet. We'll finish it up. We'll have it on the old hot rod in no time.